Hello everyone. Welcome to Pauline's Place here in Mission Bay. Just near me are two or three cormorant birds just sitting on the rocks. They're waiting, watching. I wanted to bring you out to the point. Of course the birds have left, but do you ever feel like the bird or just wanting to sit and watch and think and not have others around you? Well, this point I often see people just standing and looking out to sea while I'm looking at you. This area brings to my mind a story of a great person. And that great person and I didn't meet for the first time, but met sort of accidentally down here in Mission Bay one dawn. I'd gone for a bike ride and it was pre-dawn and that person knew that I was just getting back into bike riding and the bike was not really something I was used to and he was a bit worried about me. I'd been a bit long and so he left his house jogging to see where I was up to and as I got to this part of Mission Bay, there he was just waiting because he knew that it would be easy to see me on this path. And here is a picture that I took from my bike. I got off, took a picture of him. That person is James, James Merrill. And today, publicly, we said goodbye to him at a funeral. And it's been one of the hardest things in my life. He was truly a great man in strength, in body and in spirit. I want to say more about him. These few pictures that you're looking at as I talk are about a dear man who loved children, loved life, so devoted to his beautiful young wife. And I don't know what to say because I can't explain why brain tumours come, why people have to die when they're so young and they have so much to give and when so many others need them. But today I speak to you, you who know terrible grief that we have to be people who keep facing life. James's beautiful family, his parents, his brothers and his dear boy, they're lost. And as for his dear wife Amy, I cannot speak of the pain and the emptiness that she feels. Somehow, somewhere, there's a future beyond this time. Many of you know that journey, but what I know is it's different for all of you. It's been different for me. Pauline's Place is about the life I live and all the interactions of the people that I love and things I care about. And I include you in that. That's why I share these painful things. And where I come to places where it seems right to be sad. What do I do with it? I can't smile and say, have a good day. In fact, it seems to really hurt when someone says that. But I know somewhere in the rest of this day, there'll be something good. And I'll recognize it even in the midst of pain. I don't know if you pray. I hope you will pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for the sad people in the world. Pray that in the middle of suffering that somehow the one I worship, God who gave us Jesus, that the cross stands not just for my suffering but for yours and everyone's. 
So thank you for sharing Pauline's place with me today.